Take this case apart and put it back together. Stand oh boy. <laughs> wow. That was scary. Okay. Guys, I have a treat for you today. It is. Ugh. Much anticipated, for me at least, the O11 Air Mini. This is Leon Lee's mesh case that fits an ATX form factor uh, motherboard, but it's small still. And uh, I'm really excited, let's, uh, let's get it open. Now what I'm excited for with this case is the modularity. So you can take this case and it'll fit an ATX, it'll fit an ITX, it'll fit a MATX, and it says it even fits EATX, but I don't really believe it, so we'll have to find out there. But uh, let's... I hate getting cases out of boxes. ta -da! Wow, look at all that mesh. Oh, what do we have here? A little goodie. Radiator offset mounting bracket. Ah, yes. So these are so we can put in the, as long of a rad as we can fit. I think it's 240 mil max in this thing. Got a nice, big, thick, I think it's three millimeter uh, glass panel. And we have mesh on four sides, front, top, back, the right side, and on the bottom, we don't have mesh. But we do have a fan filter. This is a rather large chungus to pull it out, but it works well enough. We have a 120 millimeter fan in the back, and that's PWM, and up front, Kind of hard to see because it's mesh, but can you see that? We got two 140s up front. Uh, right now it's in the seven IO slot configuration. You can make this uh, five slots and that will move the motherboard slot down and that gives you a little bit of extra radiator clearance up in the top because you are a little limited. Just I think it's 25 millimeter top spacing max. So you'd have to run a, a thin red if you wanted to run something up here with an ATX motherboard. Uh, we do have support for a full ATX power supply in here, which is super nice, especially when you start getting into higher wattages. Things get a little bit expensive. Um, let's, uh, let's open it up and take a look inside. Oh, uh, I forgot. I gotta tell you about Honey. Thanks to Honey for sponsoring this video. Honey is the free sh shopping tool that searches for the best promo codes whenever you shop online at specific sites. Honey helps you save money when you buy things on sites when you're already shopping. Whether it's shoes, video games, tools, computer parts, you name it, Honey works with a lot of your favorite sites. All you have to do is click apply coupons when you're at the checkout page and wait for Honey to search for the best working coupons. And it's free savings and you can install it in just two clicks. So get Honey and save money today at joinhoney.com slash short circuit. Okay, these absolute chungus thumb screws. Which ones do I even do? There's so many of them. Okay, that one's top for sure. Uh, there is no filter, so Lian Lee claims that this mesh is fine enough to keep dust out. Uh, I have my doubts, but it is pretty fine, but at the same time, that'll affect airflow. So, time will tell, and that's something I can't, unfortunately, do for you on short circuit. Uh, okay, where are we here? Does it slide? Ah! Okay, once you get the top off, this just slides out. There's two little retention pegs that slot into these slots here. We got the two. 140 mils, that's nice to see. It's, you know, this case is, I think, $100 um, for the black and 110 for the white. And that's not a small amount of money, but the fact that it comes with fans, like that's, what, 30, 40 bucks there. So that's nice, and they match, which is just nice. We've got, ooh, Derbauer, hello. So when it says Derbauer, you know they take a little bit of consideration into cooling, which is nice, given all, all the fans. And uh, we have, th this is really interesting and we're gonna test this. You can fit four hard drives in here apparently and two SSDs. That is a lot of storage. We have the IO comes down in the back, comes up through these two ports. These don't have any grommets, but these do, which is nice. Okay, uh, why don't we try starting to fit some stuff in? Let's start with the uh, power supply. I got a big old bin of parts here. I know there is a length limitation. I think it's 200 millimeters on this case. So we're gonna hope this fits. I have hopes and dreams. I mean, anything that comes in a velvet bag. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, fan side. Uh oh. Uh oh. Will she go? No. Oh no. No. She'll. She'll go. She'll go. No. Like it. Like it's in there. Oh jeez. Oh, why didn't? That's a Phillips. Come on. Okay. Well. It's, it's barely in there. Let's see if I can get it to actually fully seat. 
like that. Okay, so a little elevation down there for airflow. That's kind of nice. Ah, okay. So this is the hard drive accessories, and this is the block off plate. So if you want to make it an MATX or smaller case, you put this guy up at the top here, and every one of these panels moves down, and you remove these bottom two panels. How do you think you're pushing it with no, the, okay, here's why I grabbed that Noctua fan. It's not, not just because I'm wearing the shirt today. They claim it, it holds a 290 millimeter uh, tower cooler and the D15 is 285 millimeters. So if it fits, I'll be very happy. You know, air cooling is the way to go. I'm just putting it out there, water cooling, yeah, it's cool and all. You got liquids running around and looks all pretty, but air cooling. Oh, got a nice big hole cut out in the back so I can kind of avoid Eh, nah, I should probably put the plate on because there seems to be that hard drive sled in the way. So we'll pull out the D15 while we're at it. The amount of times I've pulled D15s out of boxes here is too damn high. Come on, get in your hole. Good dog. Ooh, I don't know. It is right up against that fan there. Oh yeah, no, she goes. Uh -huh. I don't even know what I was worried about. I know, I could see it fitting EATX, you know, a little bit further up, but you wouldn't be holding anything on here. No, 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 we're just, we're just testing compatibility here. It's all, the, all we've got time for. Yeah, if you want to see a whole build of this case, you're going to have to bug Linus. You know, hit him right at Twitter, just be like, yo, I want to see this case. Looks so cool, build something in it. Usually mounted this way. So you want to put it so that the slots in the tower cooler give you clearance for your RAM, which, while well, I'm here, I might as well put in. Uh, when you get to play Candyman, you just get to go grab whatever you feel. And I grabbed some Trident Z Neo 3600 megahertz RAM because I thought it looked cool. Right now I'm pushing the, uh, the, the mounting plate back up through the hole so I can get the thumb studs on, or the thumb nuts on. Didn't ever say PC building was glamorous. Sometimes you just gotta give a PC a good hug. So we don't need to put in fans or anything. There's plenty of RAM clearance because it's a D15, who am I kidding? Oh man, I asked for a GPU, John. Oh, not a brick. Well, it is literally, it's a, a dummy GPU, so it is a brick, but holy moly, this is huge. I guess there's no better test than a. Tr I feel bad for the PCIe slot. <laughs> <laughs> There's maybe an inch of clearance. Oh boy. Yeah, no, we're, we're gonna have to go down a slot because that's right there. Get, get a little bit of airflow. <laughs> uh, the other option is they do make a right angle kit so you can just turn this whole plate sideways. We don't have one, but uh, that guy ain't fitting either. Okay, if you had a normal person graphics card, you could probably pull that off, but we do not. We've got a GPU in here and it is large and in charge. Oh my, yeah, that got way heavier. <laughs> just, just, oh. I mean, it went in without a fare and that is about as big as you're ever gonna wanna fit in a case like this. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of impressed it fit. That's why I chose it. Yeah, well, else. yeah, yeah, it was a good call, Jono. At the end of the day, good call. I didn't even talk about the IO. How did I forget that? Okay, up front. Super nice to see, we have USB-C up front, critical in these times, two USB 3.0s, power button, and a combo USB headphone jack. I kinda wish they had separate jacks, it's just nice. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Sorry, yes, combo headphone mic jack. And, uh, yeah, power. This is illuminated. Oh! Hard drives, we're gonna try and fit four hard drives and two SSDs in the back here. We'll, we'll do that, and then I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring her home. Okay. I found the oldest hard drives in the LTT inventory. Uh, this one, I believe, is item number 18 in the inventory system. <laughs> yeah, B0016, this is the 16th item we ever inventoried. I'm not gonna get too crazy and actually bolt them all in, because that sounds time consuming. But, you know, more or less two there. Wait, there's more. Then we have this sled over here. And these guys go on this bracket that we pulled off. Yeah. 
Like that's just nice. One fastener. You have one that goes there, one that would go on the underside, under there. I mean, yeah, it'll fit all of these things. It's gonna weigh a ton, but it'll fit it. It'll fit four hard drives, two SSDs, and whatever graphics cards you can throw at it, and anything ATX and smaller. I mean, this is a great option for someone who wants this aesthetic, this form factor. I'm just talking from a, hey, I took this case apart and put it back together. Stand oh boy. <laughs> Wow. What is even holding it in still? Minus one point. Sketchy glass retention. And oh yeah, just for you guys. Ooh, static. There we are. This is a clearly well thought out case. You know, there are a lot of parts that if they didn't fit together perfectly here, they wouldn't work at all. And uh, it's impressive that they do fit together and they like made such a solid case out of the whole thing. All in all, you have dust filtration the whole way around, hopefully good breathability, um, something we can't really test here, but given all the mesh, I can assume there's gonna be a lot of airflow. And uh, the form factor is nice. It's wider than a normal case, but squat and small and cute and it's white. I'm gonna say this is a good option. If you're looking for something in this form factor, I'd seriously consider taking a look at this. It went together pretty well, comes with fans, price is right, you know, made by reputable makers. Well, that's it for our first look at the O11 Air. If uh, you like our case videos, why don't you look at uh, Alex's Meshify case video, and of course, get subscribed to Short Circuit. Join honey.com slash short circuit. Ah, get honey.com slash short, I can't say honey five times in a sentence.